That's embarrassing. I'm sorry, everyone. All right, now we are heading into day two of Legume, wherever the hell we are. And it appears Emma and her cat, Cillin, who can talk, are pulling some strings behind the scenes. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. That's without all the mist is gone. Whoa, what a view. Look at the lake as I gaze into a mirror. Wharf you can see in the distance must be over in this. I can't see it. Is that it? Right over there? You can see the Saint's Castle way more clearly, too. So, this is what Legum looks like on a clear day. Seems like we're in a different town. Both faces of the town have a place in my heart. I'm sorry for all the fuss I caused yesterday. Green, you really did. However, you did what you did out of necessity. Or yesterday, I'd never been able to recognize the truth behind my master's teachings, but crossing swords with your father. It was like I finally realized what he wanted me to understand all those years. I understand that feeling, struggling forward even in the face of adversity. It seems the winds have granted you their blessing. Still, Reen, I think you owe us an explanation. What was that power you displayed? It was so cool, like you suddenly turned a whole different person. Almost like some kind of power that was locked up inside you came out in one big flash. I guess that's what it must seem like. Yeah, here's the first time he did it, protecting Elise. That's his sister. And he fucking murdered someone, it looks like. There's something, some beast like instinct sleeping inside me. When I lose control of myself, it swallows me up and transforms me. I've known about it since I was a kid, and all my life I've lived in fear of it. It's a strange burden to bear. Something beast like? It seemed pretty cool to me. It makes you even stronger, why not just be like that all the time? I wish it's that simple. Years ago, I first asked my master to teach me the way of the sword in order to suppress it. I thought if I could master the art of fighting, I could master my fear and quell the instinct. That did nothing to solve the underlying problem, and eventually I ended up having my training discontinued. Pathetic, huh? Oh, Reen. You said that yesterday's duel helped you realize something. I can deny it up and down, but doing that doesn't change the fact that it's in there somewhere. Unless I accept that, I won't be able to reconcile myself. I mean, that sounds so simple to say now, but it took me all this time to realize it. So he's going to finally accept this power. Don't be afraid of it. Take control of it. Trouble seems to seek you out, doesn't it? So you intend to accept your lot and move forward, even though the way is anything but certain. That's actually rather inspiring. It looks like I'm saying that. I hope you tell Group B what you shared with us. I will. I feel like everyone's been worried after what happened at the old schoolhouse last month. Were they all there when I trans- Yeah, they were, right? It wasn't just me, Crow, and Patrick? Hey, I heard the big news. You seriously dueled the Radiant Blade Master? Well, he was kind enough to give me a chance. The gap between him and me is very wide. Don't sell yourself short. Take some real guts. I know you battled Sarah and her strength is intense, but he's on a whole other level. See, you didn't achieve beginner rank in the eight Wembley whatever for nothing. Well, the guild is pretty close ties with the eight leaves. Anyway, let me get you those tasks. Another monster on the highway. I would like to practice making an offering to Saint Sandlot. Expecting there to be more. I am rather curious about this monster request. Didn't want to overload you since I'm planning on giving you an extra task. Oh, okay. Go out there and do what you do. Alright. So, uh, the one sounded like it's from the lady at the church. Can I not warp there? Well, let's make sure. Yeah, it's the church. Hello everyone. Good day, Sister Theramis. Theramis, have you grown accustomed to Lagoon while I'm away? Can't get used to his father Hemilcar's lackadaisical approach. 
gives good points though. Really? I've yet to see him act like a responsible adult. Probably shouldn't be gossiping, you know. I assume you came along because of my request. Request mentioned you plan on making an offering. That's correct. I need a number of items. Do you have the time to take this on? Yes. Sure, I'll fit you in. Thank you very much. This is what I need. Lady Lord knows it's a custom here. The period in which the service is held is coming up soon. It's not supposed to be a lively event. The memorial service is held to mourn the brave warriors. Will the church be leading it? The people here seem to have a strong belief in animism. I still haven't looked what that up, what that means. Is that like uh, like old school, like medieval kind of religion? I don't know. Animism, animism has much deeper roots. Anime. Stop saying the word. Anime is has deep roots. Well, the church. I'm just gonna call it anime. In my opinion, that's one of the reasons its teachings have spread across the continent. I guess Idios has a big enough heart for everyone, huh? Get back on topic. I've actually been asked to prepare the offering. This is my first time. Because of that, I need a little help. That's why I ask you. What do you need? I'm going to be making pretzels. Ooh, I could. Oh, I'd love a big soft pretzel, man. That'd be good. Maybe some chocolate or something on there. They're all twisted like a knot, right? That's right. However, the, I haven't had a fucking pretzel in years. I assume you're talking about the unique-looking monument in the center. Pretzels here are generally great to be rather hard, so they'll last longer. So they ate pretzels like Limbus bread from Lord of the Rings. I wouldn't mind a chance to see Erebonia's most time-honored pretzels. What do you need us to get? Five hearty powders, five clear... I know we've got the gelatins. And white seed. Morning, Father. Unfortunately, they're not really in season, so none of the stores have any. Uh, oh, okay, so her head chef. Alright, so we gotta go to the head chef. What are the things she needs? Clear gelatin was one. Clear gelatin. Oh, we got shit tons of that. What was the other thing? Hardy powder. Hardy powder. Hardy powder. Oh, we got a lot of that too. So we just need to talk to Laura's head chef. And get the white seed. Hello, Lady Laura. We need your help. Would you happen to have any white seed? I've got it stored away and I always make sure we never run out. How much do you need? Well, I don't think we need quite an entire crate. I suppose a small bag full should do the trick. All the people here really love Laura, huh? I'll say. Alright, so let's go back. Might as well run, I guess. Since it's just straight down the hill. Hey, everyone, you managed to gather ingredients? Sit in the adjoining room while I mix up a trial batch. She made her pretzels and handed them out. How do they taste? I'm a little surprised, in a good way. These are actually better than I was expecting. Tasty and filling and free. Really is, thank goodness. And what do you think of them, Lady Laura? Oh my, I apologize. So gross in the taste, I forgot to speak up. They are delicious. I hadn't seen you make them. I'd swear they came from the kitchen of a professional chef like Joseph. Thanks for giving us a chance to try. Still some time before the memorial service, but how about we offer some of these to Sandlot statue now? Okay, so we're gonna make an offering too. Is that part of the quest? I don't know if the quest... Oh, it is part of the quest, okay. Now all left is for us to pray. Not particularly, but it is the custom to remain quiet while prayers are being offered. Whoop whoop, let's get a praying on then. 
I was fucking so hard on being quiet, I ended up holding my breath. Are you guys still going? The valley of battle remained silent for even a single minute, but the last victory remained elusive. Don't be so harsh on her. She'll make her way back to the chapel. Thanks so much for your help. I feel bad about having to run town. No worries, we're always glad to help. They were delicious. If the batch you make for the memorial service turns out that good, you have nothing to worry about. Thanks so much. I'll be sure to put them to good use. There's one down, we on to the next. And the, I saw the quest marker. Is still do I have to talk to him or can I just go do it? That's up nothing too big. The gold branch across was dropped me a little inquiry. So how does it work? I no wonder. Oh, so that's how it works. Okay, so and it was an Ebel Highway. Oh, all the fog in the hallway has dissipated. At least we don't have to worry about getting lost. Alternate routes have opened up. Oh yeah, this place is different now. That whole left side. Oh, I'll take that as a hint that that's where we need to go. Looks like there's a path. The mist is cleared, which makes it easier. I think this path leads to the top of the hill. Okay, so we need Lamy Lord to smack this shit down. Okay, right. My turn. Here we go. Oh wait, why is he useless in the party? Sorry, dude. Ooh, that one looks tough. Where are all these dead ends? Oh wow, there's a river out here. Uh, I remember playing in this river when I was young. Even with uh, monsters all around? There's fish here? No fishing, it's a river, there's water. All right, no fishing. Stick to the side. Enormous. Oh, Stay on guard. Jesus. A worthy ad. All right. My turn. Yeah. Right. It's my. My turn. It's my turn. Too slow. Leave it to me. Together. Oh, a treasure chest. Two of them, actually. Don boots. Ooh, and a shit ton of septum. So, there's no chest there. Oh, this is there. It's enormous. Stay on guard. No fish in here. Doesn't look like it. A lot of little guys hanging around this treasure chest. It's Mike. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so we've been down there. There's the monster. Oh, and there's a whole chest over there. The weather's pleasant today. A fine wind blowing too. It is August, I forgot. <laughs> this felt like smacking him. Okay, let's check out this monster. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Yay! Treasure! Winds, give us your- Alright! Oh, and I don't have any CP. Here we go! Or links. Now! Go. My 
turn. Leave it to me. See what this guy is all about. It's a robot. Is that? It must be the monster Tobel sent us. It's never seen. I've never seen anything like. Is it alive? It looks more like some sort of machine. It's clearly something strange about that thing. I suppose that's why I've been sent to exterminate it. Ha! Watch oh. out! This is a. Leave it to me. No weaknesses, really. Oh, except for that. <laughs> Go! Yeah! Kim, you have my things. All right. All right, well, that was easy. <laughs> I go where the wind takes me. Is it dead? It seems more appropriate to say we destroyed it. I did get the feeling we're fighting a living creature. I didn't. A mechanical monster. Something like that doing out on the highway. We've, You know where we've seen these before? We've seen these before in the prologue that's coming, that we're about to match up with. I don't think that thing's any relation to Lammy. For one thing, it looks like it's made of metal. That's true. Lammy and the combat shells are used are made of some other substance. And while they may be inorganic, the combat shells do have a certain kind of warmth. They're all suspicious, but Millie was probably right. This thing doesn't seem enough like Lammy to link it to. Let's head back. Before we do head back. Should be a path down. It's my turn. My turn. Ah! All right. I've got this. And around. Get some treasure. This monster seems dangerous. Be careful. Oh shit! Here they come. It's my turn. All right. My turn! My turn! <laughs> Alright! They're open! And open. <laughs> Tell me this this river has gotta be Enormous. fishing Stay somewhere. On guard. You brought up the point of pointing out a river. Oh. I'll handle this. Right. No one. Evil will. You pointed out the fact that there's a river. Can I get to the river from here? No. It's gotta be on that bridge. How do I get there? Really, there's no fish in here? And what the fuck's the point? 
What a large monster. We'll need to be careful. This one looks dangerous. Leave it to be me. careful. My turn. Okay. Here. Thanks. Of course. Leave it to me. Now. Laura. Understood. My turn. Oh, paralyzed. It's my turn. Here. Thank you. All right. Here we go. My turn. All right. Go. Okay. Leave it to me. Time is precious. We should hurry. Head back. Oh, no, nope, that's not the right way. We should engage it with care. Something seems amiss here. The town isn't this noisy. Looks like the liner's back. Who are those weird people? Oh, Imperial Army. It seems that way. White and purple. I seem to remember seeing this coach back in Heimdall. I believe the combination of colors represents the Lemir Province Army. Lemir is on the other side of the Empire. What business could they have here? Looks like you're back. Hovel? Do you have any idea what's going on? Word on the street is they requisitioned the liner from the wharf. So why so why we're seeing Lemire's Province Army and not Sutherland's is still kind of a mystery. Apparently though, some big shot nobles visiting. Another noble? What could it possibly be? That's a bit concerning. If you're curious, why don't you take a look for yourselves? Since you've returned from the highway, that means you took care of the monster, right? The group gave the brief description. Mechanical monster, you say? Toval? You have some idea of what it might be? Well, I'm not sure, but I think I'll have to go look at what's left of it. Anyway, good work out there. Leave checking out what's going on up to you. Well, there's no harm in leaving him to the matter, right? We should go see what's happening in Laura's house. So there's a noble. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. We don't need to rest. Running around another lord's territory. How pompous can you get? It sounds like there's a real VIP here. Well, let's return to the manor for now. Who could it be? Is it someone we've already met, or yet another new character? Oh, hey, isn't that... Hey, it's someone we know. I don't remember... I don't know who that is. There's no need to be hasty. Your tenants would add an extra degree of prestige. Surely you overstate the importance of my presence. Man's worth is decided not by himself, but by those he rubs elbows with. Well, I'm sure you understand. I'm not sure giving combat training to the Imperial Army is something you ought to be doing either. After all, neither of us want any trouble now, do we? I... Uh, and with that, I bid you a fond farewell. Oh, and my compliments on the excellent tea. I'm honored, your grace. See ya. Excuse us. Who are these dudes? Who are these guys? It sounded like we knew who they were. My, if it isn't young Laura and Eusis Alberea, it's a pleasure to see you again, Your Grace. I appreciate all you continue to do for my father. They must know him. Yeah, but look at how tense they are. I was I wasn't expecting him to show up here. That's Duke Kayen, head of the foremost of the head of the foremost of the four great houses and ruler of the port city of Ordis. Kayen, huh? C? Another character that starts with C. His authority extends over the entire province of Lemaire. I'd love to stay and talk well, but I'm afraid other urgent matters call me away. I'll arrange an appointment to meet you in the future. Oh, I bet you will with a mask on. Looking like Darth Vader. Oh, what have we here? So you're Thor's military academy, huh? How do you... 
Oh, just happened to do a little leisure time reading on your class. And a bad looking bunch. Good, good. Um, enough with the chit chat. His grace awaits. Excuse us. See you, kids. Who are those men? They don't look like soldiers. They did seem to know about our class. Presume they're personal bodyguards. Father? You needn't look so concerned. It seems like they've finally begun to act. The noble faction has begun acting in secret? Indeed, for the past month they have been quite active behind closed doors. No doubt they're trying to reaffirm their unity, holding a conference after conference all across the country. I'm sure this isn't news to your youngest classmate. Well, yeah. Intelligence division's all on edge wondering whether they're about to start a full-scale conflict. Seriously? So the nobles are fight planning to fight against the commoners? So that's what they've been up to. Since Duke Guyen's basically the leader of the noble faction, I wasn't expecting him to come all the way out here. They appear to be planning a large conference in the near future to be attended by all members of the noble faction. The Duke came all the way out here to insist that I attend. Father, you're not even a member. Quite right, my lady. Your father has long kept his distance. In the same way, he has also kept space between himself and the reformists. They're convinced that all nobles should belong to the noble faction. I've heard they've been quite forceful. Would I be correct in assuming that my family is involved? I'm afraid so. There's been some disagreement over whether Duke Hyen or Duke Albrea should lead, but I expect that either would bring the same platform. Uses, you don't mind me asking, do you happen to know where my family stands? says Reem. You need not worry about your family's allegiance. Lord Schwarzer is widely known as an even more obstinate man than I. I can't imagine that he'd have any interest in supporting the questionable actions of other nobles. I'm relieved to hear you say so. Hold on a minute. Perhaps there's a move we can make after all. I'm afraid I'll be leaving Legroom again. I apologize for the suddenness, but tend to my things. Father? Well, that was sudden. Sure was. I believe in acting swiftly. I intend to establish contact with all other nobles who have remained neutral. I to prevent them from being taken in by the noble factions. So this guy's against the fact that the nobles are allying with each other. So the 1% want to stay the 1% is what I'm hearing. Prudent course of action, I think. In that case, I'd be happy to come with you. Tobal, what are you doing here? Wouldn't miss a chance to catch a glimpse of the Majestic Duke. You know he left in a limousine? Wait, then... Couldn't have... Did it belong to the Alberea family? Well, Rufus Alberea got into it, so yeah, I'd like to say that... Couldn't ask for a class here escort. So his brother was here. Eustace's brother. Hmm. He smiled and nodded at Tovel. So Rufus is here. He is the heir. Considering our visitors were none other than the Duke, it's not at all surprising. But I know you didn't just come here to volunteer. It just so happens, these guys here brought me a pretty curious story. We've got confirmation that a mechanical monster appeared. Is that so? I believe this is the first time one's appeared since the counteroffensive Sir Cassius launched two years ago. Another C. That's right. Come to think of it, that was the first time we met. What a strange coincidence. Have any others been found? Nothing. Just a hunch. I suspect it may have been released as a diversion. Perhaps having you come with me is the best course after all. Sounds like there's a lot more going on here. Can't say anything for certain yet, but if we turn up anything concrete, I'll be sure to tell Sarah. Alright, here's what I've got for you this afternoon. Calling all fishermen, can someone catch me the elusive gold salmon? So, uh, oh, so we have to go fishing. Got it. Leave it.
it to us. Just make sure to lock up before you leave. Someone else should come in and take care of things tomorrow. Not to worry, Father. I'm used to you leaving early. Thanks again for your hospitality. Look forward to our next meeting, as do I. Hope you all continue. I'm honored, sir. I hope all of you will look past her uncouth father, continue giving her friendship and support. As a single father, the fact that I've yet to hear any tales of budding romance concerning my daughter has me worried. Father! It would be our pleasure. It sure does seem popular with the girls, though. I pray you have a safe journey. Why must he always be so... Honestly, you've got one amazing dad. Free-spirited, open-minded, not to mention incredibly strong. I can tell you how... I can tell how you grew up like you did. Huh? Seems right. You're living proof that great parents lead to great children. But all told, you're living proof that daughter of Ajsite House has grown up sound in mind and body. You're trying to change the section. I am not. She's embarrassed because we all think she's hot. Uh, so we gotta go to the inn. There's a quest in there. I don't want to touch that yet. They're gotten in trouble. Uh, we're. Oh, someone's in the corner. Hey, Cindy, what brings you here? Oh, good day. You wouldn't happen to have seen Torvo, would you? I see. You need something from the guild? Nothing important. Well, Torvo did leave us in charge. Helping is what we do. Lady Laura, I can't ask you to give up your time for my sake, but if you insist, I'm looking for some luminous grass. It's a rare flower that grows in the surrounding countryside. I guess it'd make today an ideal day to go find some. That's correct. That's why I made my way to the guild, but as you just informed me, he isn't there. So would you be willing to go gather some for me? Sure. Well, you might want it, but allow me to ask, are you, are you planning to make a charm? That's correct. A charm? In Legger, when someone you hold dear embarks on a journey, you make a charm for them. Then you give it to the person to take with them. Never heard of a church. It's custom. Stretched all the way back to the Middle Age. How is the luminous grass used? Traditional way, as you place one of the, its petals within the charm. Because of how the flowers bloom, people believe they had the power to clear away fog. Because of that, the flowers came to symbolize victory over chaos. I have actually. Cindy gave me one right before I left for Thor's. Sierra and Chloe both gave me one too. I keep them in my desk at the academy. They're some of my most prized treasures. I'm just pleased to hear you say that. Only one, only flower with white petals. Maybe rare, but we should be able. To okay, so we gotta go to the highway. Okay, I've got to climb up that mountain that we where we fought that uh, mechanical, mechanical, the mechanical thing, because he's up on a cliff. Hello, you're in search of some sort of elusive fish. I am. I feel like I should apologize. So the request mentioned all you guys to seek out a gold fish. It's a particular variety of salmon. Body glows gold. Have you ever seen this fish before? Heard of rumors. Beam, who's usually fishing at the back of the inn, actually told me about it. Its golden color isn't distinctive. It's certainly understandable having hearing so much of it. I wanted it more to try it. Seems like I might finally get a chance to try it. I 
guess Brace doesn't even take a job like this. Okay, so we gotta go catch a fish. Doesn't seem so. So it's not in the lake. The lake here. Hasn't found one on the end of his line for decades. I actually see some promising info from Tobol that put me back on the trail. Golden sparkle in a river along the highway. Okay, so... Okay. So it's the river that revealed itself. So there's fish there. Let's see what you got there. My word, this is the Lake Lord Company's highest grade rod. The golden salmon is supposedly quite a hefty fish, but catching should be no issue. Alright, so we gotta go to the highway for grass. Okay, so there, okay, so the fishing is there. And we gotta go get grass. Okay. Let's, gotta go this way anyway. Cause we gotta climb up high. Golden glow, I simply can't wait to catch it. Seems like a good spot. She seems to be an ordinary civilian. Can we try talking to her? Who are you? I recognize you. You're the military academy. I think we did meet once before. I don't remember her. We ran into her while we were in Keldick on our very first field study. Fuck, I don't remember. Oh, lost wallet. I remember that. Oh, she's the girl who lost her wallet. Trying to catch for dinner. Some may think of fishing as leisurely hobby, but I'll beg to differ. So what inspired you? Surely it wasn't necessary to brave the danger of the highway to come out this far for a fish. First class angler needs a first class spot. Easy fishing on the shores of a peaceful lake just wouldn't satisfy me. She's looking for the gold salmon. Got a glimpse of it. Why don't you just wade in? Like, go in there. Alright. This looks like a nice. Huh. Oh, I got it! That was easy. Now that's a catch! I win. You caught a goat salmon for me? Now you're making me feel kind of bad. Thanks for telling us about it. We may not have thought to fish here. Fur play. Besides, I simply paid the price. Did you a good day. More power to you. There's still two more fishings. There are more goldens? Oh, more goldfish. There's a lot of gold salmon here, lady. Now that's a catch. Huh. Oh, that's just a normal fish. Caught one. Alright, let's go. It's enormous. Stay on guard. Where we fought the Okay, so it's right here, it's straight ahead. All right, we should take this back to Cindy. Oh, we just need the one? Oh, okay. That's easy. All right, so we're gonna go report to Sunny. Excuse me. What excuse large me. monster. We'll need to be careful. No, we won't. Because we're running. Like a good spot. No, nope, it's not. It was, but we cleared it out. Cindy, I got your flowers. I see you're wasting no time. You have a special man in mind. 
Please don't misunderstand. Misunderstand. I might be making it for a man, but there's no special meaning. I'm just doing this as a way to offer my thanks. Who's it for? Well, you see, Syria and I were out on the highway not long ago, but somehow we ended up quite distant. And it was just the two of you out here? It was. We were beset by monsters, however, one of the disciples of the school happened to pass him by and saved us. Sounds like a pretty cool guy. I like how he departed so gallantly and then. True, it was very dashing, but still. I need to thank him. Soon after, I learned that the disciples of the Arsenal School all one day leave and never return. Your heart's in the right place and your attention's noble. I'm sure a disciple of the school will be more than happy to receive it. You understand now, Lady Laura? I'm deeply grateful, but you'll forever be the only one in my heart. Oh, Cindy loves Laura. They're breaking, a lot of ground breaking in this game. Girls like and girls, guys like and guys. There's a lot more girls like and girls in this game, though. She made us a fairy brooch. All right, let's go hand in the fish. Hey there, everyone. Do my eyes see me? We got two, actually. It's even more splendid than all of Beam's tales. Ugh. I can see why people like its appearance. Actually, I actually have every intention of sharing the taste of this with you. As for how to bring up the finest flavor, riverfish tend to be best suited to grilling. It's gonna grill up this golden fish. Excuse me. Well then, what do you guys think? Where did I even start? The amount of fat was perfect. I never imagined it would taste this exquisite. Alright. Yeah, I didn't even think that you could get a fish this tasty. It melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Looks like I'll have to put another request for Tovo. I'm sure he'll gladly accept. Thanks. You know what we should do before we head back? We haven't done recipes in a while. Okay, so let's... Done, 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 done. We need a, uh... Alright, I'll give it a try. A special crispy pizza. <laughs> Alright, I'll give it a try. Come on, give us the gold. <laughs> no, we need the gold. Alright, I'll give it a try. Huh. Not bad. No, give us the best one. You're the only one that right. can do it. I'll give it a try. Huh. Okay. Oh, I can cook it myself. Well, how about that? Well, damn, I didn't know that. Emma. <laughs> I'll do what I can. I really hope you. Nice. I can. That came out. All right. I need to go shopping. <laughs> All right. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Might need to go shopping to get some more uh, assorted greens. Came out, Damn it. Let's do this real quick. So, uh, no, you wouldn't. You, wait, where is he? Oh, wait. Oh, it's, no, it's you. Uh, do you sell food? Give it a try. One of you give me perfect. Ah, give me perfect. It has, oh, it's gonna be fee, I'll isn't it? I can. That came out. Yeah, it's gonna be fee. Uh, who here makes <laughs> shit? Your <Yeah>. funeral. <laughs> Look. 
Because the way it works is, I don't think, um, just because they have that happy face means that they'll give you perfect. So in this case, Elisa or Emmett, Elliot, not Emmett, I keep calling him Emmett, might be the one, only ones that can make the, what am I missing? Eggs. Damn, I'm just pressing every button. Right. Okay, let's nope, this shit, try. that's not what I meant. Hmm. Well, if I must. A reasonable. No, make shit. Well, you need to make must. a shitty custard. A reasonable. No, shitty. Well, might need fee for him too. A reasonable. All right. Animal. Well, if I must. What would you expect? It? So it's got to be either Laura or Yusuf that can make the gold version. That came out. Well, if I must. Would you expect anything? I'll do what I can. That came out. Come on. I'll There's no one I else can. that can do it. It's either you or Yusus. That came out. Well, if I must. Done. There we go. We can make shit. All right, I'll give it a try. All right, and that's it. So let's just quickly restock on some ingredients. So we have 10 of each. Okay. Now let's head back. Racers Guild. Fuck, oh. The members of Group A brought their fruitful day to an end. Following instructions left them. They began the not quite as exciting process of filling paperwork. Oh. Are you finished? Finished getting everything sorted. That was exhausting. Little brat, she could at least try and help. Can't say I'm surprised. I doubt she's used to spending so this long on such exciting tasks. We're almost finished. Alright then. Still, it really goes to show how top rate Tobol is. Still, it's time to handle all the paperwork. Indeed, it's even more impressive when you consider that he finds time to visit other regions. His mobility and knack for solving problems is what we expect from a bracer. Even when Bear Hardy came to our aid, if you look at all these records, it's clear that people really trust him. That's true, but... something the matter? Nah, I was just thinking, if Bracer's playing a central role, why are they not just as central to Erebonians? Oh, if they play a role to other countries, why not here? You may be right. It's not just because they help maintain public order. Ideal prioritizing the protection of civilian above all else is noble. In many ways, it's the form of nobility that's beginning to fall. I'm not sure the issue is as black and white as you'd have it. The Guild is an organization first and foremost, and one based far too much on idealism. It's no stretch at all to say that with the Empire as it is now, the Guild's removal is inevitable. That's what my brother said. I suppose it's another way to look at it. I have to admit, it sounds rather cold. It does carry one weight coming from Rufus Alberea. Hmm. Emma, they're so big. Hee hee and soft. She's talking about her boobs. Everyone talks about Emma's big boobs. You can see her right down there. She's got the big boobs. M -m -m Millium? Look at that. She doesn't even have to be awake to be an irritant. We should focus on getting everything done and returning to the mansion. Someone here? 
You're the girl who works at Watto's store. Watto. I'm sorry, Boris. Is Tobel here? He's out. They haven't come. Julian and Carnal still haven't come back from the castle. You don't mean. Those two go to the castle? You don't mean to suggest they took a boat without supervision. This is something about going on an adventure. It's evening now, and they're still not back. Right when Tobel's away, so we're heading to the castle, it looks like. I'll wake up Millennium and we have another look around the town to see if we can find them. Group search from top to bottom, found no signs. Every evening had given away to night. I think it's safe to say the boys aren't in town. Looks like they really did head to the castle. Guess it leaves the castle then, right? While the Darcy family is still at stewards, it's rare and no adventures inside. My parents are worried. I've asked them to stay at home, but wait for us to contact them. Okay, we got a boat. And we gotta go to the castle. My lady, we finished getting it ready for your departure. An orbital boat, so it's like a motor boat. We ought to be the ones going. You shouldn't have to trouble yourself. I appreciate your concern, but as the Viscount's daughter, I feel this is part of my duties. It also hasn't fallen to the scope of our field study. Can't deny that. We'll do all we can to support her. You needn't worry. Very well, I doubt there's anything more I can say that'll get you to change your mind. Last patrol of the castle was just a few days ago. There's no sign of anything unusual. It shouldn't be that dangerous. The wind blowing from the direction of the castle feels pure. The castle's atmosphere is cold and clear. It's highly uncommon for monsters to settle there. Yeah, right. The part. Yep, let's go. I'm sure there's no monsters there at all. I'm sure, it's very safe. What do you think's waiting for us inside the castle? So you passed on the couch the moment we returned, but now you're simply popping with energy. This isn't a game. I know, I know, but as long as Lane is with us, there's nothing to worry about. Let's grab these kids. She doesn't seem nervous in this. She doesn't seem nervous. You guys just hear a bell? Look at that castle, man. You tell me there's no monsters there? Lograin does have a bell tower. As far as I'm aware, Axe has just been sealed off. And who's ringing it? The bell tolling at night in the old stronghold of the Eisenrider. We'd best be prepared. Well, here we are. Alright, so the children's boat is here. Looks like the path will take us up the cliff. Mind your footing. All right, let's check our. Uh... Oh my ass! Fuck. Okay, and let's check our equipment. What do we have. Use a petrified step down. Oh, you've got nothing. some more ET or EP whatever well, that prevents a lot of shit evergreen Sleep. better for you. Uh, this boost. You 
got nothing. Let's just make everyone. Oh, my voice cracked. Make everyone. So that they can't take any status effects as much as possible. Increasing your strength by plus five is really like. Who cares? So this is St. Sandlot's old point. stronghold, Lohengrin Castle. This is the first time I've come here at night. Be careful of your footing. There's the city. Who lights all these lamps? Whoa, what's that? Something strange about the castle. It's glowing blue. Is that glow just the moonlight? Yeah, no monsters here. It's safe. Doesn't look fucking spooky at all. So this is Lohengrin Castle. The ancient stronghold of St. Sandlot. Gathering looks even more beautiful Sorry. up close. Yeah, but what's up with that weird glow? I've been here several times before, but I've never seen it like this. I can sense a very strange wind blowing from within. It doesn't feel like monsters, though. I can feel it too. Like something is writhing around inside. Wait! It's haunted. What kind of something? I feared as much. I can definitely sense the presence of the dead. Emma? What? I'm alright, but we're going to need to tread carefully in there. Right. There's no telling what may happen when we venture inside. We should make certain we're ready before entering. I'm ready, sure. something very strange. Should we go in? Enter. Yep. Let's go. Alright, it is indeed a spooky castle. Ah! It won't budge. Did the door just seal itself shut on its own? Yeah, and why is the door that big? You're Derek. Well, that was unexpected. Sealed by magic. So not even Eric Gatlin can break us out of here? It appears that there's a barrier in place. What kind of barrier? Are you talking about that strange symbol that appeared on the door for a moment? How would you know something like that, Emma? Well, I've always had a pretty strong sixth sense about these kinds of things, so sometimes I can sense things that aren't visible to the naked eye. Mm, uh, suspicious. Hmm. Come to think of it, this isn't the first time you've reacted strangely to unusual phenomena. Eustace has a point. I've heard that people from the church can make use of some strange powers. So are you a sister of the church or something? Uh, I'm kind of the opposite. She's a devil. Oh, She's a Satan me. worshiper. I've always been a big supporter of the church. I'm not sure what you're getting at. She's a Satan worshiper. Just oh my god. Who are you? Ah! What's that sound? It's the bell we heard earlier. Something's approaching to the left and the right. Monsters. Oh, monsters, is it? No. These are no ordinary beasts. We're going to have to fight them all the We have nothing to fear. All right. Oh. Now. Okay, well. Here we go. Get shit on. Uh, I want to analyze it first. All right. My turn. Okay, it's safe for now. Looks like we beat them. Uh, are you all right, Milliam? Uh, what were those things? 
ghosts. Mysterious spirits. Though perhaps it would be more appropriate to call them fiends. Either way, they were no ordinary opponents. The higher elements seem to be present here as well, and I suspect that's true of the whole castle. Yeah, it did feel that way, though I'm still not sure what the ringing bell from earlier has to do with anything. <sighs> This place seems to be even more dangerous than we could have anticipated. And as long as that barrier remains in place, so will we. We're going to need to search for a way out. Okay, Emma. Looks like we're going to need to rely on this sixth sense of yours in order to navigate this castle safely. You don't have to tell us anything if you're not comfortable. Yes, of course. All right. Then time is of the essence. One sec. Fiends like those roaming the castle? I'm even more worried about the children. True. We should start looking right away. We're going already! Can't we rest here a little longer? <laughs> those fiends scare the strength right out of your legs? No! That's totally not it! You're more than welcome to stay here and wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, waiting by myself would be even worse! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can find. Right. Well, Emma can now use the S-Craft, Lord Albarian. That's quite a name of a skill. Treasure up there. Uh, so we got save, we got some wings. The advantage is Leave it to me. Here we go. It's my turn. Anna. My turn. It's my turn. My turn. Okay. Right, so these monsters aren't that difficult. So. This will start on the left side. We have the advantage. All right. Here we go. It's my turn. Analyze. Right. Leave it to me. Go. Okay. Too slow. Go. A lot of countering. Jesus. The power of the eight leaves. A lot of countering going on. Down. I thought we were going up. Now's the chance. Let's it's my go. turn. Go. It's my turn. Right. You still have a lot of making progress. This castle has no shortage of strange foes. Perhaps they really are go. It's a fight. They leave it to me. It's my go. My turn. You still have. You were saying before you were rudely interrupted. Oh, some kind of gem. Something over there. Some sort of orb. I suspect this orb is a power to disable a barrier. Orbs like this function a bit like keys. Regardless, it seems we'll need to take it with us if we want to advance. Well, that's one huge door. I've had my eye on it ever since we entered the room. It looks similar to the door on the fourth floor of the old schoolhouse. It does. It looks a lot like the red door. I saw them visit the castle somewhere. I'm afraid there's not much I can tell you. It's always a possibility that the children might have gone inside. We should check it just to be sure. It doesn't seem like it opens. It's steadfast. Can't see any signs that the children might have gotten inside. We should probably move on and check somewhere else. We did theories that the old skulls may be connected to the Imperial Dracos. Whatever secrets the store may hold, it's a dead end for now. So is there another giant robot behind there? Oh, a treasure chest. Lunar robe.
pretty good for our girl Emma. Alright, so let's go check out the, uh... Oh, yeah, look at that. Didn't even notice that. That should have saved the barrier. You just don't say the G word. Go, 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 go. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay, this one goes up. Alright. Go! It's my This is it! Go! Looks like this will lead. Ooh! What are you? Lead to that uh, place with the two treasure chests. It's my turn. The two. Now! This is it! Here we go! It's my turn, Anna. Of course. Oh god. Oh, this goes up a lot higher than I thought. Excuse me. Alright. Here for that treasure that's standing behind you. Go! It's my turn! Death blow. Of course. Go! Okay! Alright! <clears throat> Go! Okay! Thanks! Alright! Right! Going. I did it! <laughs> Just get We're almost the big 5-0. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. An external <laughs> corridor. We must be on the north side of the castle. We've gone pretty far inside now. I hope the children are safe. What is that? Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. Wins behind it. It's my turn. Death Slugger. Go! It's my turn. Anna. Right. All right. My turn. Okay. It's my turn. Ah. My turn. My turn. We should keep going. Look like a cannon, like a monster with a cannon sticking out of its mouth. Does this lead? Ooh. Okay, I gotta go this way anyway. Oh, there's a treasure. Monster treasure, it looks like. How do I get there? Left hand, right hand. Left hand, right hand. <sighs> Nothing but trouble. Leave it to me. Go. Yeah. That's one way to do it. My turn. Evil will fall. Oh, there's the pink orb. Ha! Red. Excuse me. Can I switch maps? I can't like see another, like how do I get to that side? Did I already pass it? Shit. It's a fight. Leave it to me. I see a path. Right. Ah. Go. Fool. 
Leave it to me. Yeah. My turn. Leave it to me. It's my now. Got it. Here we go. We'll cut our own. Right there. Ooh, I almost missed it. Is that it. a treasure chest? Winds, give us your blessing. Leave it to me. Go! Might as well take out a chunk of them. Right. Now. I don't know what these things are capable of. Right. Oh, force reach level five. <laughs> I did it. Katsy. Absorbs magic attacks. All right, interesting. No. Here they come. Go. All right. My turn. It's my turn. Here we go. Leave it to me. It's my turn. Leave it to me. My turn. Go. Uh -huh. All right. Let's try and get past this big cannon fucker. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Up we go. Hey, those are... This isn't good. Oh, it's the kids. Julian! Go away, monsters. The Great Knight Julian will never forgive you if you hurt Carno. Uh-oh. Laura, thank goodness you're safe. We're okay. More fiends, they just don't seem pleased. You can do this, just don't let them near the children. Blow them away, Laura. Leave it to me. My turn. I don't think so. Oh, okay, yep. Looks like we took care of him. You're not hurt, are you? No, we're okay. That was so cool. You guys are so strong. Just like Ellen Eisenreiter. Well, as long as you're both unarmed. Unharmed, not unarmed. Actually, I think both of you have something to say. Thanks for saving us. No. That's not what I mean. I think she wants you boys to apologize. You stole the boat and entered property that is off limits. What do you think would have happened? Do you have any idea how worried we were? Laura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you realize what you did is wrong, I have nothing further to say. Oh, I admire your bravery stepping forward to defend Carno. But you're still young and inexperienced like I am. It's one thing to aspire to the qualities of night, but no good will come if you rush that goal. Thank you. Whoa, what is wrong with his fucking eyes? Don't worry about it. Try to be a little less reckless in the future. Eustace, are you actually embarrassed you got thanked by a kid? Well, we found them. That's a relief. Now all that's left is finding a way out. Don't think of it. We couldn't even enter this room until we disabled the barrier. So how did the two of you get here? When we first came in here, everything was normal. We were on our way to the top floor, but as soon as we came in here, suddenly there was this pale haze. Strange circles appeared. We didn't know what to do. These does, this doesn't seem to be any other access to this room either. 
It seems as though if we want to leave, we'll have to deal with whatever's causing it. Some way to disable that barrier. Hold on. I can sense something coming from the top floor. Serious energy. No, well, more or less. That's about the only clue we have, so let's continue going up. What about the children? We can't leave them here. Better just take them with us. There's enough of us that we'll be able to keep them safe. What do you two of you think? Would you prefer to stay with us? Of course, I'd feel safer with you. All right, top floor it is. On our way. Treasure chest. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. Rakshana. Oh, there's a save coming up. This looks like if it's a fight, they won't. My want. turn. All right. Yeah. It is a cannon. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. I'm sorry, everyone. Right. Holy shit! Well, fuck that. Here we go. Retry that fight. The fuck was that? Leave it to me. That was bullshit. Blink. My turn. Fucking kill them, please. That was ridiculous. Go. Thank God for that retry. Let's save. Since who knows when the last time that was. Looks like we got a boss fight coming up. What is that? It looks like the orbs we've come across before, but it's far larger. I have an uneasy feeling about it. There's a cold, pale light flickering inside of it. Man, it's huge! Kinda of pretty. I definitely sense some kind of power coming from it. Is this the source of the energy you were sensing earlier, Emma? There's no doubt about it. I suspect this orb is the cause of all the strange things going on in this castle. If we can destroy it, I'm betting everything will return to normal. All right, just leave it to me. What? She's gonna smash that shit. <gasps> Hold on, Milliam. Lammy's busted up tougher looking stuff than this. Let's smash this orb and get out of this creepy castle already. You idiot. We have no idea what it might do. Go, go, Lammy! Ah! William. She deserved that, I guess. What did I just say? Are you all right? Oh, I forgot about those stupid barriers. I guess it makes sense that it would be protected by one of those barriers. Wait, something's wrong. Whoa. What's happening to it? I feel an incredible torrent of energy pouring out of it. Everyone, get back! Oh, it's Daddy Ghost. Nosferatu. It's an actual vampire. A, a bone faced feet? A Nosferatu? How could it manifest something like that in the real world? It's on a completely different level than the foes we've encountered so far. Julian, Carno, get behind us. There's no way we can afford to lose. Not here. Let's give it everything we've got. Right. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. All right. All right. How do we play this?
My turn. I wish those things were closer, but oh, he, oh, he hates Earth. her to do. What am I forgetting? No. Arcus, right. Oh, he summons more? Rain to sleep. It's my turn. Get the pressure on the big boy. What the fuck? just happened. That didn't do a lot of damage. Of course. He's sucking the life force out of oh shit. Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Can't heal Reen, she's just gonna die. Arcus. It's my turn. Oh, and he's got, like, all his health back. Right. I'm sorry, everyone. What the fuck is this? It's my turn. How do I get her out of there? It's my turn. Oh, she's out. Thanks. Right. All right. Right. is safe. Putting the pressure on the big guy, I guess. Nope, we're all about to be wiped the fuck out. Oh, thank God, that was so close. 
Holy shit. That was close. <laughs> Let's keep going. Emma coming in the clutch. Like and we're all oh, some of us are level 50. I'm mad, of course. I'm awesome. Man, that was fucking scary. Emma's magic is fucking disastrous with that uh Pandora, whatever the hell, Master Chord. Did we win? What a terrifying opponent. So that was careful. Something still feels wrong. What? Watch out! Oh, swallowed the wrong down the wrong pipe. Oh no. Damn it! How could I have been so careless? <clears throat> I had no idea it had this much power left. <sighs> Laura! Uh, are you okay? <sighs> this is bad! Even Lammy can't move! Looks like I've got no choice. He's gonna Super Saiyan. Rain! No! If you're not careful, you'll be drawn into it. What are you? What even is it? Oh, what the hell was that? What? Huh? What was that? Who's that? Sephiroth. <clears throat> What's Sephiroth doing here? Is everyone all right? I'm fine. That was really bright. What just happened? I, I have no idea. It all happened so quickly. I heard the sound of something piercing through the air. Yeah. Right through that orb, too. It looked like a lamp. But how could someone hurl something that large with that much force? A lance? Yeah. And whoever threw it was standing right up there until just a moment ago. It was a golden-haired woman, shrouded by a strange light. Golden hair, you say? Is it, uh... The lance maiden? But, but that sounds just like... <clears throat> L Laura! Th that's... There's no one here. Not that I honestly expected there would be. That pale glow surrounding the castle seems to have disappeared, too. Is that because the orb was destroyed? That would mean the lance that destroyed it. <sighs> How'd the orb get there in the first the place? Lance oh, I thought it might have been her, but it seems like it was the Steel Maiden. Steel maiden. Still, we really are out of time. So there's a steel maiden and a lance maiden. Ooh, oh, you're moving up in the world. And so ends that chapter, or that it's not the end of the chapter, the end of that field day. So it looks like we will be. Oh, oh man. Swollen down the wrong pipe really kicked my ass there. So it looks like we'll be continuing uh, our final day here. Well, it looks like we'll have our the last day here, and then we'll be heading to uh, the fortress where the prologue took place. So it looks like we're finally catching up. The story's finally catching up to where the game started, uh, and we all know what happens there. The railway cannons come out. And it looks like open war is about to start, so we'll find out in the next uh, the next episode if open war does indeed start. Let's check it out.